I learned about uh, the trades when I was in high school, and it was, what are you going to do when you get out of here? And uh, the organization representative was from Big Step. So I was an early addition to Big Step. From there, I ended up working for a company here in town. At the bottom as a material handler, I got my apprenticeship about a year later. I became a journeyman, stayed with them. I became an instructor for MATC and taught in our electrical uh, training program. I was working for that company a total of uh, 17, 18 years. And I found myself training my bosses in class and on the job site. And I decided, yeah, I think I can do this myself. Two weeks later, I was in business. And it'll be uh, 25 years uh, next year, May. Just say coming out of high school, I was thinking like, you know, I just didn't know what all it entailed. But once I did get into the apprenticeship, I found out everything is not so hard. I mean, there's so much that goes into it. Like even with all of the other trades, it takes everybody to create a building or a project. You have help everywhere. I wasn't looking for the foreman position. I just worked. I was happy with a paycheck. You know, as the older I got and stuff like that, it's, I always move forward in my career. I don't go backwards. And I wanted something different out of my career. So I started asking questions and things like that. You have to want responsibility to be promoted. You have to be ready for it. And even if you're not ready for it, you have to be willing to accept it. You may not necessarily be the foreman, but you're the journeyman over a bunch of apprentices. And even that in itself is a lot to take on. As a foreman, you're, you're trying to direct groups of people to do certain things all at the same time. For the future, I would want to be running jobs, actually, because I've noticed now from the beginning to the end, it's a lot of work that goes into it, and I notice mistakes that other people make, so it kind of helps me to get better at the job, and I'm pretty sure I could run a job now. I see myself becoming a master at my craft and continuous learning. There's always more learning to be had, and I see myself advancing in my career, possibly in a leadership role. I've had many mentors throughout my career which helped me to where I am. Don't just pick one. A lot of people just pick one and they're kind of comfortable with that person, but no. Just get as many mentors uh, that are available because that, that way you can see many different ways in which you can react to something. I can still go back to the first year I broke into the sewer water company and the people there that were my mentors that I worked with that are my crew still talk to them, we still tell stories about it all, laugh and joke, and that's, that's probably my biggest part of being in this career. I guess advice I give myself is to just do what I did, stick with it. It worked out extremely well for me. There's a lot of avenues and a lot of different jobs that I can obtain from the knowledge I have. And the nicest thing about getting in the trades is you know how to fix stuff. You become more capable of fixing anything and you, you gain a lot of confidence. So I would definitely tell myself to get in the trades and maybe I would tell some of my other friends and colleagues that are in different positions that I am now that maybe I would nudge them towards the trades. If someone asks you to do a task, don't feel like, yeah, I know how to do it just so you can go get it done, you may hurt yourself. Um, if you don't know how to do something, you're not gonna get fired. Um, that's what the training is all about. Ask one of the journeymen, ask one of the foremen, ask someone the proper way to go about doing something. Even on those bad days, I learned something. It's, it's about learning something new every day, because if you don't, the day is wasted. And in construction, there's so many things to learn, man. You can always step back after a day's work and see what you've accomplished. You get to meet lots of great people. Um, you earn a good wage. You can provide for a family. There's lots of great options and great things that come from a career in, in construction. We're not going to sugarcoat it. Construction is hard work. So you have to put you know, that time. You have to want to put that time to learn more about the industry, to put the work in place and so on. And then also uh, get to the point where you can mentor others and teach them what you've learned. People I really look up to in the trades, it's gonna be the journeyman I worked with and the journeyman that kept me in the trades and you know helped me when I, was, when I needed help. There were a couple that I spent a couple of years with that just great guys are always willing to teach and you know, you want to make them proud just like you want, you know, when you, when you cross train an apprentice, you want to make them proud as well. Oh, no, 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 no. We won't let you give up. Our advice is that everybody can be successful and there is no room for giving up. My biggest advice would be just, just to expose yourself to as much as possible. 
figure out what you don't like and figure out what you enjoy doing and try to find the best intersection of those things, regardless of what it is. Because being unhappy at a job is the worst way to spend your life. So find something you enjoy.